Hey, as long as you believe in Jesus, you'll have eternal life. Michael Rabalski here again with the Holy Bible King James Version. Old and New, hold on, Old and New Testaments. <laughs> I got a flashlight here that I've been using. I, I, um, I showed that off in another video. Here's my uh, the last video I just made yesterday. I traveled from Lake City to halfway between Lake City and High Springs yesterday. I'm uh, near the TA truck stop and just getting my day started. I already prayed the Our Father's Prayer. Already read my Bible, which I see why I had the light on. <laughs> and uh, just looking out at this beautiful tree in front of me and thinking, I was thinking, well, I want to make a video and kind of describe how I set up this um, this tent so in the other video that I showed the best shelter I've ever had I didn't show how I put the mosquito netting on so I would like to explain how I did that uh, it's pretty simple it normally you could you could set this up uh, Lord willing anywhere even without a tarp and it has four uh, well, it should have four. Mine has four little ropes, uh, little cordage things, whatever you want to call them. I don't know if they're paracord. I don't remember. I think they're not paracord, but that's it's okay. And they're they're tied to the to the top, and basically, it could it could have a flat top when when tied out in the open. But in this case, well, my plan was. I wanted to put the mosquito netting over the the ridge line and it didn't work so instead of doing that I tied those those four uh, points to the middle right at the right at the top of the the, the triangle there and uh, yeah you could you could pretty much tell so and then the rest of it was pretty simple I did actually tie the ridge lines yeah, I put the ridge lines on both sides of the, the shelter. And then basically it just takes a little bit of weight or something to hold this all and, you know, hold the mosquito netting out. Like here, I just move this over a little bit. I get a little more space. At any rate. Well, um, if you're wondering in my other video, why do I have a bucket outside? My right outside? Well, this right here is... An easy manner of uh, you know relieving myself as you can see this is um, my own urine and what I've done is occasionally whenever I had to go again I would just dump it out into the bucket and uh, sometimes I get a couple bottles of this and I didn't have to use the bucket but it's just nice and then I have some water that I can use or that I've, I've, I've cleaned out the bucket with some soap and water today is the Sabbath and I did kind of build myself last night when I got here a little fire pit, but I didn't really use it. And when I woke up this morning, I noticed there were a couple couple mosquitoes, but I blew I blew on them and they just flew out and I don't know where they went. And that so I don't know if there's there really doesn't appear to be any more. I haven't seen it. And there, there's a bug here. I saw it look like a bug got kind of trapped in the in the netting, but. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I have this blanket, and uh, I I think I mentioned in my other video that I had this blanket inside of my tarp, little camo tarp. And here's something I wanted to mention: that could be used as a sleeping bag. And I have a couple little um, bits of cordage. I think I put them over here. I mean, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, here's one of them. And I basically just did it. Uh, from the tip of my finger to like there where my elbow is and yeah with one hand it's not easy to show that but uh, but you get the point and what I could do is I could you know make us like Lord willing I could make a sleeping bag out of that with this with this too it was actually here's another thing I want to mention about my rest in this tent it was cooler in this thing than it was in my dome tent that I had and another thing I want to mention which and that makes a big difference in Florida be it being cooler it actually in the summertime 
the the heat is not something that I've really preferred to, to you know, I mean, I want to be like 75, 80 degrees in my tent while I'm trying to sleep. You know, I've had stuff like that happen. So, and the other thing is, and there is one mosquito right there. Well, it's really hard to see with the camera. Another thing is there's no zipper. So, um, I don't, I don't have, I have no concern about a zipper, uh, breaking, which I've had zippers break. And then all of a sudden there's no door to where you could, you could, I couldn't, I couldn't keep the mosquitoes out. And I'm trying to think of anything else I can mention real quick before, before this video ends. If this video ends abrupt, well, I shouldn't say that. I don't want to, I don't want to prophesy something I don't want to have happen. But yeah, I got my shoes out here. I could have started a little fire to, you know, keep the, the mosquitoes out and stuff, but I didn't do that but yeah that's pretty much it I might put this video up online we'll see hope people don't judge me for for stuff like uh, having a having a beer or two in the night that's people shouldn't judge it says in the Bible it says be not drunk with wine and when I've had some alcohol which is perfectly legal according to the United States uh, constitute or the amendments to the Constitution I've uh, drank, you know, and kept my self-control. That's one of the fruits of the Spirit. And usually just doing it at home and not going out in public, you know, stumbling over things and, and you know, committing acts of violence or whatever. <laughs> just enjoying a couple beers at home is not a bad idea. So, and you probably also, I might have mentioned, I think in my other video, I mentioned that I had cigars. So, I, I have liked to smoke cigars too. So, um, this detachable lamp I was able to use last night, and as you can tell, I'm sitting up inside this thing. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention was, I'm just trying to mention whatever comes to mind here, Lord willing. This, this netting could be kind of tucked up underneath there, and when I set it up, I actually tucked some of the netting up and over the middle, uh, and then... Uh, that that gave me my headroom and yep well before i make this one hey much longer i think that i'm going to just uh, settle with that it's the sabbath and which is friday sunset to saturday sunset this is the day i like to get a uh, rest i don't i don't i'm not a, a, a you know one of those people that i've met that were um that were you know seventh day type people that they felt like they had to they had to, to rest on the sabbath or else they were condemned eternally that's not how i am i believe that it's just a good idea to rest once a week just as god commanded we're righteous by faith in jesus um righteous and righteous by faith in jesus christ and what he did for us uh and what's recorded in the holy bible he died and he was raised to life and this morning i was reading about the early church and uh, how they, uh, I noticed a lot of the, the major com conversions of, of the early church were done through significant miracles being done, like someone being raised to life or someone being healed. So I was thinking about that and how in today's day and age, how something like that would occur. It seems a little more unlikely, not that there would, not that someone would actually, com you know, that there would be a miracle or something like that. But um, it's just, what I mean is, it's just as likely anybody could do the very same works that uh, that Jesus, I mean, not the exact same things that he did, but I mean, like the same, you know, the same type of works. And he said that you could do greater works than him. And so, like, you know, Jesus said, heal the sick, raise the dead. You know, those kinds of things can be done. Cleanse those that have leprosy, uh, drive out devils. Um freely ye have received freely ye shall give all that stuff and i've met people that didn't believe that i met people that believe that oh no jesus doesn't heal anybody anymore blah 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 or whatever and i'm like obviously that that wouldn't make that doesn't make any sense of course he could heal anybody he wants to at any time so <clears throat> at any rate not to make this too long i hope you enjoyed the video just wanted to explain the mosquito netting thing and anything else i could think of real quick here um I, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I charged my phone up again using my JBL, and it still it still has three bars, just like last time. But I think it was at 50%. My phone was around 50%. So that's another, I guess, correction there. I didn't mention that in my last video. 
Um, anything else? Anything else? Try and think of something else. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I got some water. Oh yeah, and this I got always, always. I like to remember to get some kind of paper towels or toilet paper at, when coming back to the tent because I'm not trying to use leaves and stuff to you know to to clean myself up after dropping a deuce or whatever. Oh, and this frog tog thing. This worked really good as a, oop, a video just turned sideways. Oh, wait, maybe it didn't. Okay. This frog tog thing, I used it as a pillow. And I put the, and that also with the paper towel roll, that worked also there to cushion my head a little bit. That was perfect. And the other thing I mentioned in my other video is you could fold up the, the edges. I've been in some pretty significant rainstorms and I've folded up uh at times you know the edges of this this kind of tarp shelter which was a good idea i i've only this particular one i've only been using this is this is my first actual uh going out and actually leaving my old tent behind i left my old tent behind along with other supplies and stuff and i still got a lot with me <laughs> so i'm pretty happy with what i got going on um yeah, another thing with tents and tent and camping, obviously ants. Um, in my other tent, I was getting ants in there occasionally. I'd leave a bowl sitting out after I got done eating dinner, and unfortunately, there were there were there were ants. And um, sorry, I know that most of the video I've been sitting here you know, pointing it out towards the light, which that's right in the middle. <laughs> so I hope you don't mind. It's everybody's got it. Everybody's you know, most people have relieved themselves, you know, and like maybe you know, I guess everybody has. I apologize. I try to be careful about what I've been concerned about making sure I speak truthfully and don't accidentally say something that's you know not true, even though I didn't realize it. That's been one huge problem with a lot of a lot of people I've noticed is said things that weren't true and pass it off as truth and didn't even realize that that's what they did and sounded ridiculous well, sounded i mean to to the to the untrained ears it may have sounded just fine but to me it sounded crazy or ridiculous so oh well so i try to say lord willing a lot i think that's really important oh the other thing i wanted to mention i just remembered oh god thank you i got this it's a and not to put that over top of the bible i don't like to set anything on top of this I like to keep I, I like to keep that nice. I got this nice Ozark Trail outdoor equipment uh, multi-tool, and uh, it's got a nice good snap there. And it's not the the silvery one; it's like the black, the I don't know the black ops one or something. I don't know, but this is pretty cool. I like this. It's got the it's got the saw. It's got a knife. It's got a fish scaler. It's got it all all. It's got. Uh, I mean, it was like 10 or 15 bucks. It's, it's, it, it, you know, uses for this have been like endless. Um, I've been using the the pliers to snip off uh, maybe either branches or thorns or just grabbing the thorns and pulling them out. But yeah, you can, that's a nice cutting tool. You can cut thorns. I've cut thorns and stuff with it. And uh, of course, it, and it's got a little spring loaded. Woo! It just kind of come, opens up on its own. That's what it's been doing. So yeah, there's there's multi-tool. Also, another another use I like is, is getting a fish hook, and you know, out of like a I've gotten fish hooks out of the mouths of turtles and fish and so forth by uh, by doing this, by using this rather. All right, so I think I got everything that I wanted to mention. That's that's. Trying to think of what else. I don't have this all written down or scripted. I just I just wanted to try to include whatever I could think up. And so yeah. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you'll get out there and you know preach the word. That's that's the most like, the most important thing you could do for somebody is just try to try to tell them about Jesus. Either gonna try to make that person into it or try to get that person to believe rather, or strengthen the person that does believe. That's pretty simple. They could have taught us that in school, but unfortunately, there's been a lot of stuff that has that could have been done that, that, that it should have been done, but wasn't done. And you know, unless people go to the Holy Bible and read it and actually start doing what it says, uh, it won't get done. So, all right, 
All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a blessed one.